21, 21, 21. going on everybody i hope everyone's having a fantastic evening afternoon pre-noon no matter where you are in the world i'm asam piker and this is the hasanabi broadcast coming to you live from sunny california los angeles we are live once again folks boys girls and mbs and i hope you're having a fantastic day it is monday ladies and gentlemen the new week the has started it's monday april 26 2021 and it is 11.02, and I'm right on time. I'm early, actually, as a matter of fact. Uh, I had a, a very busy Monday morning. Pass boggies. I uh, went to... I streamed for like nine and a half hours this day. I had a really fun time. It was a lot of uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a really good stream yesterday. I had uh, enjoyed myself. Went and... Uh, hung out with my mom and dad a little bit last night part of the broadcast obviously as you know where i give you some hey, uh, personal you. news um i uh i went and hung out with my mom and dad my mom got her second uh vac shot like a couple days back over the weekend and um uh, some reason she's just been she's been feeling it you know she's gotten like inflammations and stuff it's it's uh different for everybody it's different for everybody so um i'm just like you know going, going over there everybody hope everybody hanging out with her making sure one. she's all right and uh my dad's getting a second shot too now so uh, shit's about to get spicy hopefully he doesn't have like uh some Love crazy side effects hassle. as a consequence of the uh, second shot i myself will be getting my second shot uh in a while i don't know exactly what day it is but Thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs Some people up. report not seeing anything. Some people report having like a day where they feel bad. Some people report like a couple days feeling bad. Eight to 10 days of potential side effects that you can feel on your second shot. Three months, love you, Hussein. It is what it is. Um, significantly better situation uh, than actually getting fucking COVID. So, you know, it means uh, the, the side effects means that the vaccine is working. My uh, grandmother and my grandfather are here right now. I was, um, morning I woke up, uh, made a big decision today, or not today, but uh, last night that I need to start cooking my own food again. Um, the big decision is I, I need to cook my own food house. again because I can't be doing uh, these, these, I can't be tracking my calories and macros when I'm doing Postmates. Like there's too much room for extra stuff. Oh, there's too much, there's too many moving parts. So I'm not gonna do a cooking stream, no, but I will be cooking while I'm on the stream. I haven't decided exactly the how I'm going to so do that. Educating me on what's happening in the I world. have, uh, I, I prepped ADHD my uh, chicken so for the next two days. Today, so I really appreciate it. I prep my chicken for the next two days. So today and tomorrow, I'm going to cook my own chicken again, my own salad and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, like I was doing. But anyway, uh, I went, I went to the PO box, grabbed some Another PO Monday boxes earlier this week. morning, worked out, feel pretty good about that. I can't do like actual meal prep. Um, I can't do actual meal Nine prep because, uh, I, I hate just having fucking food sit in plastic containers in my fridge for a week. Like, I mean, I would go 
I would do a meal prep service. Hassle. I would potentially do a meal prep service if they fucking sponsor me or some shit. Let's be real. Um, like I'm open to that. But as far as uh, as far as you know, love you guys. Hassle, hassle, hassle. As far as meal prepping myself and having it sit in my fridge for like a week, I can't do that shit. Like, I feel like it's too, too gnarly. I'd rather be fat than have chicken and broccoli and plastic every day. Well, I mean, chicken and broccoli is delicious. Chicken and broccoli is absolutely delicious. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't have a problem with chicken and broccoli as long as it's like freshly cooked. I meal prep in the sense that I prepare chicken for the first day and the second day and then i go back to the grocery store and i buy more chicken and i prepare one and a half pounds of chicken for the first day and second day that's the way i used to do it um you're putting your mom out of work was she a personal chef lmao no no um well obviously it was only for the duration of covid that she was here and um she was only here for the duration of COVID and like now, I mean, she's going to go back. Obviously, this wasn't like a permanent stay. Um, which is precisely why I got to go back to like, I've been trying to restructure Yo, my I entire kitchen. Keep up with like I had a very, How do you feel some of you will know this, some of you will understand. My entire kitchen was like structured in a way where I had maximized efficiency, right? Like I just have my own way of doing stuff. And I had, you know, I, I was used to doing it and I had a, a regimen. It was very rigid, but it was very good at the same time. And then like my mom came in and she was like, no, I'm not going to cook you the same thing every day. I'm going to cook you different stuff. And it was Monday, pretty good, Monday, but it kind of fucked everything up uh, in my, in my like rigid schedule that I had, like in the rigid regimen that I had. Right. So three months got my, I just, too. uh, I just could not figure it out. Like I, I, you know, I just like fucking fell apart. The diet fell apart completely. So I was like, fuck that. I'm going to, I'm going to do my own thing. And now I was trying to reorganize my kitchen uh, this morning. There's like, it's pretty funny. It's just, I haven't used it in so long that uh, I was just trying to figure out where the hell's going on. Like tomorrow. where the hell is everything that I have? Cause I can find my fucking weight. Like, uh, my, my, um, scale, my food scale. I couldn't find my, uh, specific. Talk about pieces of shit like Tariq Nasheed, Her Nasheed harassing an autistic man. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. We'll talk about that. We'll look at that video. It's really fucked up. Um, chicken tendies, diet Coke and kombucha, the diet of Kings. No, I don't drink kombucha. I always drink cold brew. You think it's kombucha. Maybe an occasional Sweet. meal prep with a breakdown of basics of calorie counting for the community. I've done it before. I can do it again. Do you not get tired of the same food every day? 10 months, poggies. Um, not really. After a while, I do get tired, but I, I make like minor tweaks to switch it around. Cooking stream and workout stream when? Hassle. You leave the prep chicken inside the fridge for two days. Yeah, but it's not cooked. So it's just sitting in, it's just Four sitting months, in, go. uh, the, the sauces. It's not like, so it's not the end of the world. Like it can literally sit in that sauce for a, a day or, or two days. It's just marinating. So it's not like the end of the world. Nice head, bro. It's actually better that it like marinates for a day. Hassle. Um. It's just hard to maintain a diet, yeah. When your when your mom is uh, around, you know. We'll be adding the lifestyle tag to your stream soon. Why? What's that? Four months, boys. You think we'll go back to watching shows again? I don't know how you feel about 90 Day, but I'd love to see you watch Forge in the Fire or Pawn Stars again. 
yeah i mean i might that that's the best thing that is going to bring me Happy back Monday. to uh go easy today chat. best thing that's going to bring me back to fucking watching 90 day fiance 90 day reaxe streams coming back is is literally uh me having to uh, throw on a video that i can watch simultaneously on Five my phone Happy while Monday. i'm cooking in the chicken and going back and forth so that's literally like the perfect fucking reason for why it could happen Feel me? I miss RP, but we'll always be here to support Hassel. Do you have an air fryer? You can prep fast as fuck. Or use a sheet pan with wedgies and separate for chicken. Hobbies. Boom. Yeah, I don't know about that. Can we get a cooking stream? Sure, maybe. Did Hassan quit RP? No, I did not quit RP, but you guys making a bigger deal about me the not going, your favorite not doing RP is annoying. like making me literally feel like I don't want to do RP. It's like putting a lot of pressure on me. I swear to God, I'm trying to fucking manage my life here, boys. Like hair, RP is. is making it hard, okay? I, I love RP. I love the community. I love the RP frogs. Arjan, um, Arjan, hire a chef, Arjan. I promise, like, I'm gonna get back to RP. I, I still haven't even done the, uh... Love ya, Arjan. I haven't even done... I didn't even do my car payments. You know what I mean? I got too fat to wear your merch, Sag. Have to lose weight too. I feel you. I'm in the same boat. It's funny. First you lost viewers because of RP, and now people seem to stress out yeah, about you not playing RP anymore. Second of your streams. Yeah, people don't recognize that like RP isn't uh R the the reason why I, I talked about this every fucking day at this point. But the reason why I left uh, RP for a little bit isn't exclusively because of the view count. Like I I I see a dip in numbers regardless, right? The reason why I had to fucking switch, uh, switch it around a little bit is literally because it was like so time consuming. It was like consuming my entire existence, boys. It was it was too much. I found myself fucking worried about it all the time. I don't know how the fuck RP people do it. Like, it's crazy. Kind of weird that like uh, there's so many different factions in my own community, plan. motherfucker. Can't okay. you guys just be like normal Twitch uh, chat and just like me for me and just like fucking chill with whatever kind of content i'm making i swear to god three months like blog. sometimes i do wish i had a community of simps rather than stands rather than like whatever the fuck i got going on where it's like people stand me but for very specific things and they fucking hate other people Hello. within the community you know they're like i am a politics stand i love political hassan I am a stand for politics, Hassan, but I fucking hate when he games and I don't want him to game ever again. <laughs> or like, uh, there'll be like, I'm a gaming stand. I enjoy the gaming and react contents, but I hate it when he's doing politics. You do politics too much. Where is the gaming? I'm to support my favorite streamer and embarrass my friend Sarah with a shout out. I feel like most other variety streamers, they just have like actual variety. So the people come in just for them, you know, and they're like, ah, this is chill. I like this. Anyway. You will see a 34 tweet thread in the morning about this. Oh, here we go. Why did my Dono not do TTS? He was a pedo. Also, keep up the work. <sighs> hey, listen, we're doing. Uh, remember, we are still going to do. Uh, we're doing positive comments only. I'm Seven reading positive chat. comments. Happy Monday. Your TTS didn't show up probably because you cursed in it or something, or said something that's like a no-no word, you know. That's a common theme in a lot of Twitch channels. It might be harder Keep for you to see hate. because you don't watch as much, but even someone like Moomoo's channel, there's so many people who hate his RP shit and all that. It pops out here more because you call them out all the time. Yeah. Anyway.
four months. Ago. Um, today, surprisingly, is not like a super heavy news burden day because there isn't a lot of like massive news stories going on beyond like the regular stuff that we've talked about. Fourth month story. or outside of uh, outside of the uh, obvious uh, ongoing issues such as police shootings, which is happening all the goddamn time and mass shootings in general. So uh, there are there is a uh, body cam footage in the shooting of Andrew Brown Jr. There's a lot of pressure around that. The, the city has already declared emergency as the sheriff plans to release the body cam video. According to NPR, as of 23 minutes ago, so we're going to talk about that. Obviously, the racial injustice that is ongoing in America. This is in North Carolina. There's a North Carolina shooting that happened. Um, you probably either didn't hear about it or maybe saw someone as, as the shooting literally happened. Saw someone tweet or saw someone in the chat go, "Dude, there's a shooting in North Carolina that literally just happened. I was there. You have to cover it right now." Uh, and while I was like playing fucking role play or something. Um, and this is, uh, there's a body camera footage that's uh, slated to be released about it. Um, there is also, uh, there's the climate justice panel in the summit that's ongoing. Um, there's a Supreme court, uh, uh, case that's coming up. That's taking a major second amendment concealed carry case. Supreme court is. Uh, it's going to be interesting seeing with how our incredibly conservative Supreme Court. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Did you play RP yesterday? No, I have not. Are you going to talk about the anti-protest laws problems are passing giving immunity to drivers running uh, protests are over? Yeah, I, uh, I have talked about it in the past a lot because this used to be like a big thing. Every time there's like Every time BLM protests start happening, uh, these these anti-protest bills come out. My birthday. Can I get a and they birthday, didn't Chad usually Marcus used to get passed, in re even in Republican legislatures, but now they are getting passed. Kind of weird. I don't know what else to say about it other than that. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it. Are you taking a break from no pictures for a while? No, I mean, I haven't figured it out yet. I, I want to come back for like, uh, I want to come back with in a big way. I don't want to just like randomly roll up, but eventually I'm probably going to have to randomly just roll back in. It could be today. It could be any other day. Who knows? Okay. Um... Not gonna lie, it would be extremely hype if you got Julian Solomita to do a cooking stream with you. Top Chef Himbo Edition. Hey, your TTS probably didn't read because uh, it is delayed because there's too many people subbing and donating right now. Percent, thank you for the last seven months. I've learned a lot. I love politics and dimmer politics frogs, but I also like gaming has buff. Um, it would be nice if people would just stop pressuring about what you're doing. Yeah, I, I just know what you're doing. You need a 4K camera for your stream. Yeah, potentially. <sighs> anyway, wow. Okay, the Macy's the fucking playlist. Uh, yeah, we're let's get started on this. Okay. There was a uh, Bill Gates interview that I saw. I think it was with like sky news or some shit i don't fucking know where he just straight up says five months anniversary to me he just straight up says yesterday that you should like he's just like no we can't be sharing vaccine formulas with the global poor to end the pandemic like it's fucking wild I saw that and I was like, that's insane. That, that's, we got to fucking talk about this. Okay. Like he just straight the fuck up, dude. It was just like, nope. And we're going to watch, we're going to, we'll start. I don't know if we'll start with that, but uh, we're definitely going to look at that in a little bit. It, it was, it's fucking insane. I, I don't know how else to describe it other than like, it's just like, no. Nah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to tweet out that I'm live and then we'll get right into it. All right, boys, uh, daycare is open and it's Monday. 
Oh, Rick Santorum. What the fuck? Bill Gates says no to I love opening you, vaccine IP. Go to to take on gun some time. control and another police shooting in North yo, Carolina. Yo, yo, Get in now. www.twitch.tv slash Asanavi. At Hasenabai, two months. At Hasenabai. So, yeah, let's, uh, I just fucking blasted it. Okay, good news. Maybe now the Chuzz will want to share the vaccine formula since Bill Gates said not to. That's uh, fun. it seems like your ADHD sort of helps with your style of streaming most of the time. Is this true? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Could be. It, it, it could be helpful. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it would be like if I didn't have like, I, I don't know what it would be like if I did not have. Uh, hey, we showed up I have no fucking thing. idea what one of us is like. gonna have to change. You know? Um, I can hook you up with a camera and a lens if you need it. I have multiple cameras and extra lenses. You can probably buy one that's higher quality, but I figured I'd let you know. Also, I need help with choosing a cam. Let me know. I can help with that too, as well with setting up for streaming. Are you bisexual? I see your name, Hassan Abai. I am not bisexual, but uh, Abi in that sense means uh, older brother in Turkish. Do you have a place to watch the Sekiro VODs? So Only can like find the very them. early game. I don't know where the Sekiro VODs are. They should be out there, boys. There's someone out there. I'm sure someone will uh, lead you to the right direction. Uh, there's a, a bunch of... There is a, a bunch of uh, accounts on YouTube that just like log all of my VODs. Hustling chat boys. Look at this Bill Gates vid. The chair is helping poor people get vaccinated and go... What? Oh. What happened to the gaming YouTube? So what happened with the gaming YouTube is the RP content was popping off. Let's go. And my dude Kidder Steve was just like, uh, you know, making incredible fucking content as always. But he's in college. So he was just like, yo, I got to do real life shit. And I was like, of course, do your thing. Do your awesome. thing, brother. You know? So that's what happened. Dude, glad I watched one of your you said you were going to play RP over the weekend and you didn't. This is going on my press spreadsheet. Okay. I wrote an edited feature document. It's coming out on Hulu soon about trans high school athletes and the struggle for civil rights. Can I send you a copy to watch early? Your takes are 100% spot on. Oh, this is you. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny. Um, this person who's been a community so member for nine months rest stop this sent uh, an email to my agency, gotten a photo, but to I my like agency to email, important. <laughs> and <laughs> and literally like my <laughs> and in the professional agency email they said Hoss, buff, and hostile. Wow, oh, he said, sorry, you, you have your uh, pronouns in there. Hey, Hassan, or whoever reps Hassan Piker, my name is... Okay, I won't say your name. I don't know if you want that out there, but it, I guess you do. It's, your documentary is coming out on Hulu, Changing the Game, and it'll be airing on Hulu as well as a Hulu original. It's a documentary about high school trans athletes and the struggle for civil rights. Our official trailer from Hulu should be out soon, but here's our trailer before we sold it to Hulu. I'm also a nine or 10 month subscriber on the Haas and Ivy Twitch stream. Hassan's take on the issue are really, really strong and align with our film's central message. I would love to get Hassan an early copy of the film and watch, get it on his radar. I know the right wing will be very vocal about the film and I'm reaching out to folks uh, who will help uplift this story 
and these kids in a positive way. I would also love to see who would have any interest in maybe inviting one of our high school trans athletes to the stream uh, with him to Twitch, talk about their struggles with civil rights. Absolutely would uh, be down to do that. Put your strong platform and Hassan has a big trans audience and I think it would be really Zones great Bucks. part of the stream and that could honestly save a kid's life watching. Anyways, I hope this finds you all well during these crazy times. Thank you for being such an OBS vocal supporter of trans rights. Hoss buff hustle. My dude wrote hustle on a fucking professional email to, to my WME my WME agents. <laughs> I loved it. They just forwarded it to me. They were like, um, love you and your content, Hassan. Thanks for nine. I'm glad that content. they did. Cause, uh, usually I feel like they just, they would be like, uh, cause it's not like a paid, uh, thing. They would just be like their agents. You know what I mean? So they're just going to probably pass it. Usually I'm glad that they did send that, but Hey, listen, if you're an, a member of this community, just fucking reach out to me through normal means, dude. You don't have to like go through my professional agency unless you want to do like a business deal, a big business deal. Hey, if you want to like, uh, I can tell you're a little you know, if you if you want to see if I would be willing to do like strong, ad migrate. stuff or something Thanks like that, you know. You do, mate, and make sure to stay poggers, poggers, but shit like poggers, this, poggers, just poggers, reach poggers, out through me poggers, through poggers, poggers, literally poggers, 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 a million different ways that you can. Gonna see a gender affirming therapist tomorrow and work through things. Can I please get some trans love in the chat? Love you, Hassan, and all that you're doing in the Twitch community, even if you're just a Kuma Gumbo. Oh, holy shit. Ronan style. As buff. Good shit. Um, Hassan, you know, most of us shouldn't be messaging you outside chat. No, no, no. But like, you could literally fucking say that here. You could send it in a fucking dono or something. Like, I will usually see it in here. There's so many different ways of like, if you have a documentary or some shit like that, you know what I mean? And you're like, and, um, well, you know, you can try to reach me remote. in, uh, oh. by regular means. You don't have to like send it to my, uh, agent. Dono equals communication channel. Omega law. Listen, uh, asshole. Uh, also a fucking gifter in the chat. You know, as well as I do, that I am very accessible. Maybe too accessible. As a matter of fact, perhaps way too fucking accessible. Four months so, in the sea of me, in the process of me literally saying I am accessible, you are making fun of me because I mentioned one out of multiple ways of communicating with me. You bitch. Donuts are the worst ways to reach me last week. I mean, I still see the fucking, uh, I, I still see the messages. Did you talk about the genocide of Armenians? What do you think? Uh, what, what do you think? I, I just, I, it's so fucking obvious that Boy, motherfuckers are ass. literally not even remotely interested in the Armenian diaspora, Armenian people in general, and exclusively interested in fucking crying about, uh, a, a fake grievance that they have uh, created in their minds and that grievance being you. that I deny the Armenian genocide or some shit when I have never fucking denied it. Like, literally every day, dude. Literally every fucking day, dude. I don't know what the fuck to do about it. Like, I, I don't know what to do about this. Day four of the Hassan Armenia mall streak. I don't know what to do. No, Armenian genocide is not a fake grievance. The fake grievance is your assumption that I deny it. What the fuck? Damn, lo-fi hip hop just broke, dude. Anyway, I mean, it's a shirt ASAP. Please say it's back in stock so I don't have to buy the bootleg version. My transformation into a don't worry, we got a complete. we got a new uh, we got some new merch coming out. Soon. When you don't do the Just talk about it, lol. Motherfucker, why do you so want you me to talk about it every day? Funny. I have Take talked about it for the past dreams. four fucking days, nonstop, dude. You, you want me to talk about it every day? What are you fucking insane? Vaccines companies do with their patents when it's just his It's so fucking insane that I like I literally have to fucking respond uh, uh, every single day over and over again and go through it over and over again every fucking day, dude. It literally derails the content. Shut the fuck up. We are moving on. on Twitch, but since you just said it, would you be down? Okay.
those protests over the fatal police shooting of Andrew I Brown Jr. in North go. Carolina. Seven deputies now on leave as Brown's family prepares to view, view police body cam video this morning. Victor Okendo is in Elizabeth City, North Carolina with the very latest. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Robin. Not only does Andrew Brown Jr.'s family and community want the body cam video released, the sheriff's office here wants it out too, but according to the sheriff, it's not up to him. Only a judge can approve that video to be released through a court order. My year old that might happen as early as today. Recently. Things have been really no rough. Justice! Anyways, thanks for this morning, a community a demanding answers after a sheriff's person. deputies. Um, you, you're welcome. I, I hope you're doing uh, all right. Okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna start hitting the uh, I'm gonna start hitting the mute on the dono now because we're getting into the news, okay, boys? Um, all right. <sighs> um, there is literally a there is literally a command for Armenian genocide that's been here for a very long time, by the way. Like, just uh, what is it? I forget what command it is, but uh. Just chat, just, uh, yeah, it just, the command is literally Armenian genocide, okay? And that's a video from basically the long, it's like one of the longest commands that I've had. I've had a command for a very long time. And the real, and the reason why I've had that command is because people used to, people used to come in here all the time with that shit, all the time, for no reason. I don't know why the fuck. And, um, there was also a bot that tracked how many times people would, uh, ask me to, uh, apologize for like, uh, denying the Armenian genocide when I've never denied it. So. I mean, here, for those of you. Pro streamer hair dye was 20,000 followers. Like, that's how early this was. I was at 13,000 followers at this point. The Armenian genocide happened. There you go, dude. Okay. This was like, uh, this was literally like, Fucking after the the seven millionth time that motherfuckers were like, dude, you need to talk about this right now. Did you ever dye your hair? No. Okay. Shot and killed 42 year old father of seven, Andrew Brown Jr. Special advice, Ian Nelson's got one male, 42 years of age, gunshot to the back. According to the Pasquotank County Sheriff's Department, the shooting occurred as deputies who were wearing body cameras were executing warrants related to felony drug charges in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, last Wednesday morning. If any of my deputies broke any laws or violated any policies that come out through this investigation, they will be held accountable. Officials have released few details, but seven sheriff's deputies have been placed on paid administrative leave during the investigation. A neighbor who says she witnessed the shooting says Brown did not pose a threat to the deputies when they opened fire. He was nonviolent. I can, anybody that knew him would tell you that. He was driving away. One of the attorneys representing Brown's family says they were told that investigators did not find any drugs or weapons at the scene. Brown's family is devastated by the loss. And now I got to live every day. We've talked about serving warrants in this like incredibly violent capacity before on this stream and how damaging it is to the communities that these uh, cops operate on and uh and how how many like accidental fucking discharges occur and how especially like uh serving warrants in this way for like drug offenses is insane because they just like do drug raids and and you know blow your fucking door out kill your dog they flash banged a baby before a warrant does not mean you are guilty a warrant certainly does not mean that you should be executed okay even if you are 100% dead to rights guilty and someone is serving a fucking warrant, it still does not mean the cop personally can operate as a judge, jury, and executioner. Okay? 
kind of reactionary, but what are your thoughts? Wait, Dr. Umar went on the fucking Breakfast Club? Oh my God, that's going to be uh, insane. That's going to be content. Oh, okay. My newborn without even getting a chance to meet him at all. My God. And that's going to hurt me every day. They will view the body cam footage later this morning and are calling for it to be released publicly for transparency and accountability. It's inexplicable why when a black person, especially a black man, runs from the police, not posing any threat of violence to them, that they still see fit to shoot them in the back. And later this morning, Brown's family will be viewing that video privately, and we expect to hear from them after they watch it. George? Okay, Victor, thanks. So they didn't, they didn't release it. Uh, they didn't release it originally, uh, and now it's been demanded by advocacy groups, but it still requires court approval to do so. So that's what uh, people are waiting on, and uh, obviously North Carolina has decided to you know, declare a state of emergency and gear up for potential unrest because they know what they did is fucked up. So... Um, uh, you know, so right now, uh, the sheriff, Tommy Wooten, uh, is waiting on a court approval currently and people are uh, asking him to resign. Um, uh, the chairman Lloyd Griffin, uh, supported him uh, in this in endeavor and, and said that the community should calm down. A ton of people don't know they have warrants against them until they interact with the police, usually in mundane situations. Well, in this situation, there is, from, like, very little details have been released, for the record. Very little details have been released. Okay? Uh, so... We don't have a lot of, uh, we don't have a lot of information on, on like what happened exactly, but, um, here is the, uh, here's what the fucking sheriff had to say. Okay. Here in Elizabeth city, North Carolina here. Let's, uh, let's watch what he had to say today, today that started at approximately 8 30 AM during the search warrant at 421 Perry street. So. They're executing a search warrant. Uh, he said that they collected information from... I mean, dude, this is like the most sheriff motherfucker, dude. Holy shit. I mean, it, it is like... The most... In, it's just absolute thumb of a man. By Pasquotank County Sheriff's deputies. Andrew Brown Jr. <laughs> was fatally wounded during this search warrant. There was, we do have body cameras, yes, and they were active. What I can confirm is this was a search warrant. Yeah, look at how little information and detail they give about the situation. Like, every different state has a very different way. Did you almost know? Madame Miguel, say hi to the camera. Come on. Come here, come here. Here, my grandparents are here. They were just chilling in the background. Sorry, we're going to take a quick uh, sidestep from the, from the video to show you guys. That's my granddad. Dogen, don't we good? Say what's going on. And then this is Nico, my grandma. There it is. Bak 25 bin insan izliyor şu anda sizi. 25 bin 600 gördüler hepsi. Hadi. Bye bye. Bye bye. They've just been, you know, they've been hitting the town, you know, painting the town red, boys. Just, uh, flexing that Vax, dude. Not Nico, Nuko. N-U-K-O. Those are, uh, they're, uh, they're Jenks' parents. And for those of you who said, like, do they understand what you do? Bro, they are literally Jenks' parents. Of course they understand what I do. Um, anyway, let's keep going. Why does she look exactly like your mom? I don't know. Maybe because she birthed her. All right, let's keep going. This was a search warrant that was being... I think it's cool how you're so old and you still have your grandparents around. Bitch, I'm 29. Like, I'm not fucking that old. What the fuck? Yeah. 
<laughs> what the fuck, dude? Um, uh, fulfilled. And it is indeed a, a tragic day here in Pasquotank County. Absolutely destroyed uh, me. Okay, let's keep what going. What we're looking Sorry. for at this time will be accurate answers and not fast answers. This will not be a rush to judgment. Uh, we're going to wait for that investigation as we're duty bound to do. They're also very young. Like, they're young. My, my grandma is uh, was like a young mom. I don't know exactly when she had my mom, but... Okay. Like, my, uh, my OG, my grandfather that I'm named after, Dawn Dogan is my middle name, named after, uh, the, uh, the grandfather that you just saw, Hassan, my other grand, uh, grandfather, he passed away in 2009, so. <sighs> Hassan, if I was your age, three-fourths of my grandparents would have been dead halfway through my life. Okay, bro, what the fuck is this conversation? Why are, yo, st stop. Stop. We're, we're done with this combo. Oh my God. We are super done with this combo. Why are you guys doing this? Police reform. Oh my God. What, what a strange thing. You see my fucking happy ass grandparents. The first thing you, you, your mind goes to is like, oh, well, death and destruction for me. That's where my mind goes. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, it, it, you're just like a fucking fel flexing when your grandparents passed away. Please stop. <laughs> like... Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's get back to the, uh, well, this is not, uh, I want another, I want another video on, uh, this, the, the, um, the, uh, Andrew Brown, uh, video. But yeah, at the time, for the time being, there is not a lot of information. There's not a lot of details out on purpose. And, uh, that's it. Okay, that's this is this is what we got going on. Okay, uh, Lee Carter thinks the precautions the city's taking could be a sign that body cam footage will be bad. I mean, yeah, probably. Did you tell Nino you're done with RP on GTA? No, I did not tell Nino that at all. What the fuck? Dude. Like, whoa, oh my God, dude. Everybody chill. Chill, okay? Not in the middle of a fucking story, especially. Jesus Christ. I can't believe that this is like... I never thought that this would happen. Like, I, I, I really never thought that this would happen. I, I didn't realize that there was going to be so many people that are, like, genuinely and legitimately upset. Okay, let's keep going. Remember, we were going to do, like, positive messages, and I was going to focus on the positive messages. Ruining, ruining the vibes that we're doing positive messages only, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, yeah, I, I do think that, uh, I do think that potentially, what is this? May 6th is finally here for your unmolding. Yeah, May 6th is when we're going to do the podcast. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, the first episode, like, full-blown. Also, tomorrow I'm going on Michael Cohen's uh, podcast as well. And I think I scheduled another podcast, too, on top of everything else. I, I believe I scheduled another podcast. I think I might go on Love It or Leave It, too, to promote the other the podcast as well. I got to do, like, a bunch of promos. Um, so yeah, that's, that's been like, I've been working on the back end on that, uh, for a while. So Rogan, no, no Rogan. That's not how that works. You, you don't just fucking go on the Joe Rogan experience. Uh, 
Can I pay you a hundred fucking dollars to follow? No. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> you do if you're a right winger? True. Um, anyway, so I think I've shit on Joe Rogan way too many times. It's just not happening. Like there's no fucking way that Joe Rogan is going to have me on his podcast. Um, yeah, the, the latest, walk us uh, through the latest news uh, earlier was that the family uh, was the unable to view, the, unable to view the footage because this, the police uh, had to make redactions. They had to the cover people's with, faces. Uh, body camera footage. Well, they would like to see the body camera footage. They were led to believe that they would see it today. There is a delay. We're not sure how long that delay will last. Apparently, the sheriff's office has told the attorneys representing Andrew Brown's family that portions of the video need to be redacted. And they're talking about concealing the faces of the deputies who were on this event that took place that led to the death of Andrew Brown. So right now, about all we have is the opportunity to listen to what appears to be the one witness to what took place. Her name is Ashley Bechtel. She lives catty corner to the home where the police came in with their SWAT teams. She was at her window on the second floor looking out the window. Now, she says that she has been interviewed by the investigators following up on this. I have been unable to confirm that with the investigators. And it's also important to note that her child's father is cousin to the victim here. But all of that said, let's listen to what she says she saw as she looked out the window and saw the police arrived. He was sitting in his car and about that time, the police had pulled up behind him and he started to drive off and they started shooting and you could see mud slinging up on the side of his house everywhere and they shot out the back window of his car and he lost control and he ended up in, across the street in uh, Mr. Mike's yard and he hit a tree they crowded around his car they sh shot we're shooting the front window of his car. From where you were standing, did it appear that his car speeding away could be perceived as a threat to the officers where they were standing? No, because they were standing behind him. Behind him? There were no officers in front. There was a truck behind him and they got out. Again, Ashley back to bro. This, it, it, I, listen, this is one victim's. Uh, I mean, not sorry. This is one witness uh, testimony. So it might be uh, the the situation might be different because uh, you know first hand accounts still are oftentimes uh, not the most reliable in, in the in the cover of darkness and whatnot. But it does seem like pretty fucking uh, regular, um, pretty regular fucking police procedure here. Uh, real, real fucking animal hog shit, okay? Um, straight up. So, uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll see what happens, but uh, obviously it's not going to be good. Uh, obviously the fucking footage is not going to, uh, you know, is obviously not going to make the cops look good. Uh, they are uh, trying to protect the identity of some of the deputies. <laughs> um, it just sounds like a fucking literal uh, execution. All of this from the window on her second floor. I stood up there and there was a clear view of most of what she said she could see there. There was a portion where I believe the car would have been behind the house speeding out. I think the question that we're... The raid was over a drug warrant, okay? It was a... It was potentially... <clears throat> Look, again, 
super limited information at this time because the cops and the authorities have deliberately not revealed a lot of information. Okay? So I, I have to state this over and over again. No, not drug use, but from what I understand, the, uh, there was a CI who was working with the cops on an ongoing drug case, and they had a search warrant. It's basically a fucking drug raid off of the, uh, the statement of a, uh, a confidential informant. Okay. We're going to perhaps get answered when and if this videotape is released. This is the body cam from the police officers is whether the vehicle was in reverse going towards the officers, thus feeling that they were being threatened by a deadly vehicle, a deadly device, so that they had to fire their weapons to defend themselves, or they had to, they boys. fired as the car was heading away from them. And again, this is one eyewitness. It's apparently the only eyewitness in the neighborhood. It's great, dude. It's fucking insane. Uh, just absolute fucking madness, dude. Hey, sorry. Search warrant means, uh, you know, that means you can get executed if you're uh, driving away great at this point it's like if you're black it's just automatic like if you're black and you have a warrant out for your arrest or if you have a search warrant like you can't put your fucking hands up you can't just comply you can't run away you can't do anything like it's just it, it's just literally up to the cop okay it is a death sentence and it's literally up to the cop now obviously there are instances where that doesn't that kind of violent does not uh, occur he didn't comply, lol w. What? What the fuck, dude? Don't do baits like that, man. That's not fucking funny. Like, that is literally just not even fucking remotely funny, especially if you're a, a, a 60 month sub. Of course, they uh, fucking did not, uh, did not, you know, find anything. Um, and I need to stress this again. Even if they had found something, even if they had found drugs and even weapons in the house, even if they actually, uh, even if he was legitimately fucking trying to get away, drive away, none of that warrants an execution. Okay? That is fucking insane absolutely fucking insane 